In this video, we'll look at SmartShooter 5's QR code and barcode scanning feature. Building on the previous version of SmartShooter, this version has improved QR code and barcode scanning tools and capabilities. As you may know, QR codes and barcodes can be used to add efficiency and accuracy to all kinds of workflows, including high volume photography, product photography, archival projects, or any other situation where a QR code could be used to help identify the subject. Additionally, we're launching standalone software for generating bulk QR codes and managing QR code projects. We'll have a separate video addressing that software. And one quick note, in this video, we use the terms barcode and QR code interchangeably, though they're technically not the same thing. SmartShooter's ability to read QR codes and barcodes is identical, regardless of the type of code being scanned. SmartShooter 5 puts the controls associated with particular features right inside the window where you need them. So let's take a look at the barcode window. Like all windows in SmartShooter 5, you can access those in the View menu and select the window you'd like to open. But I've created a workspace I'd like to use instead, so I'll go to the Workspace menu here, switch Workspace, and there's my custom workspace for QR code scanning. I'm going to start by making an image here and putting a QR code in the frame just so we have something to work with here. But to start with, our main focus is going to be on the barcode panel or window here you see in the center section of the frame. This window follows a similar format where we have some window options and tools at the top, a center section where we have a list view, and then some, in this case, barcode options at the bottom of the frame. So let's start with these options. First, you see auto scan barcodes. This option will scan incoming images for barcodes or QR codes and pull those out automatically as you go. I'm going to leave this option checked. Next, you see add barcodes to photo metadata. This will take the text of the scanned barcode and include that in the photo metadata for later use. Similarly, I'm going to leave that checked. The next option here is play sound after scan. This provides an auditory tone that will confirm whether SmartShooter has recognized and scanned a QR or barcode. That way, if you're away from the computer, you can be informed of that scan without having to go back and check the software. This next option provides a method to restrict the scanning to a particular format of barcode or QR code. That way, if your images have another kind of barcode or QR code that you're using for other purposes in the frame, you can tell SmartShooter to limit the scanning to a particular barcode or QR code format to avoid inadvertent scans. Finally, this last checkbox allows you to tell SmartShooter to limit the scanning to a particular camera. With this box checked, you can enter a regular expression to limit the scanning to a particular camera name or set of cameras. Now that we have a sense of what some of the options are in the software, let's go ahead and see the scanning in action. I'm going to make an image here of a barcode, and we see that because I have auto scan barcodes checked, SmartShooter immediately recognizes the barcode. It adds the image to this list view, indicating some of the information about the image. And we also see that at the bottom, we have a small thumbnail which shows the barcode that was identified highlighted in yellow. You'll also notice that in the sessions panel, which I have open here, we see that the barcode field picks up the text that's encoded in this QR code. Now, I'll remove the QR code from the frame and you can see that SmartShooter retains the existing barcode text that was scanned previously. That's true until we scan a new QR code or that text is otherwise removed. I've got a new QR code here in the image. 
I'll make make an image and we see the smart shooter picks up that new QR code. It adds it to the list in this list view. It updates the thumbnail and crucially updates also the barcode text. The list view gives you access to all the QR and barcodes that were scanned in a session and you have the ability to customize that view with the show columns drop down. I'm going to turn off auto barcode scanning so that we can look at the manual process. But before I do that, it's worth noting that you can also select any of the previously scanned barcodes and activate that barcode so that it is the current text that is occupied in the barcode field. You can manually scan any of the previous images by selecting the image in the film strip. Uh, you'll see above that uh, preview, you'll have the scan image for barcode button, which will tell Smart Shooter to scan the selected image for a barcode or QR code. And once that's complete, it behaves exactly as the manual process. Keep in mind that when you create a new image, Smart Shooter will automatically select that new image. So all you'll need to do is press the scan barcode button. So now that we have a good sense of how barcode and QR code scanning works in Smart Shooter, let's look at how you can actually use the scan text. So I'm gonna swap the QR code back to the original QR code. And let's imagine we want to put all of the images related to this particular product into a subfolder. Well, we can do that automatically by creating a name policy that reflects that intention. So to do that, we'll need to go to the Smart Shooter menu and select Settings or Preferences. And in the window, we'll go to the Name Policy window tab. The file name expression will tell Smart Shooter how to rename images, and we can use the substitution tokens listed below to automate that process. I'd like to use the barcode to create a subfolder. So I'll enter a left bracket and the letter Z for barcode and a right bracket. And I'll add a forward slash, which indicates a new folder. So Smart Shooter will use the scan barcode text as the folder name and everything after as the file name. I'll hit OK and let's go ahead and turn auto scan barcodes back on so we can see this in action. I'm going to make a new image with the intended barcode or QR code in the frame. There we go. We see Smart Shooter automatically scan that text entered in the barcode field. I'm going to make a few more images to illustrate the point here. One of the uh, color checker, another couple images of the headphones themselves. And now I'm going to swap out the subjects here. Uh, and with it, I'll place a new QR code in the frame indicating new text that I want scanned. And I'll make a new image here and we'll see Smart Shooter recognizes that new QR code and pulls out the text. I'm going to go through the same process here, making a few additional images just to sort of illustrate the way that Smart Shooter is filing these images in the background. One image of the color checker and another couple images of the subject. So let's take a look at how Smart Shooter is using both the file name expression that we created and the scan barcode text to file images appropriately. We can see in the download directory that I have set, we see the two subfolders that were created automatically using the scan barcode text and Smart Shooter put all of the related images or all the images that contain that same barcode text in that subfolder. So it files all the images according to matching barcode text. And finally, you'll remember that we selected the option to add barcode to photo metadata. 
So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to switch over to Adobe Bridge so that we can view the metadata for one of these images. I'll locate one of the more recent images and we see that in the metadata panel we have the scan text included in the user comment field. So this will allow you to reference that information down later in your workflow. And like all metadata, that scan barcode text is written into the file, meaning it's available in any software that can read metadata. So for example, in the library module in Lightroom Classic, you can view the metadata in the metadata tab. As you can see, Smartsheeter 5 offers a range of tools and capabilities that can enhance your workflow. That's the QR code and barcode scanning feature in Smartshooter 5.